Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Hey, my loves. How are you guys? So, today's video is basically a wash video slash um, let's get our hair cut for our birthday. Yeah, man, I chopped off so much of my hair. Oh, my God, I was so nervous, but I did it. Um, Next is this new um, shampoo bar. I've always seen these bars and always wanted to use them, but I was afraid, and some of them was kind of expensive. But this one is from a black-owned company. Um, goes by the name of Crown RTC. The RTC stands for Respect the Coil. Um, I personally know the owner, so shout out to you, Alicia. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. I'll show you how I use the bar. This is the first time um, I've washed my hair since the cut. I was nervous to wash my hair because of the shrinkage since I barely had any hair left. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what I was doing. Okay, and so now I'm just using my tips to get into my scalp and massage the rest of the shampoo in there. Um, massaging your scalp with um, acrylic nails feels amazing. So I had to get in there with these nails, okay? It felt amazing. The shampoo is not that hard on your scalp either. Um, it feels good on your scalp as well. So it's like an extra massage Um, this is me rinsing it out. Just showing you guys how I rinsed it out Also, peep the curls like these curls were popping. Okay Cutting your hair and using some natural products in your hair does wonders for your curls So curly hair girls head over to crown RTC on Instagram and she also has a website. I will be sharing those things um, later in the video. So yeah. Okay, so um, next I'm putting in my conditioner. This is a conditioner that my mom um actually bought here i put in i had conditioner in my hair already here in this part of the video but um i forgot to record so i just took another um recording and add a little bit more to my end and the middle of my hair um this conditioner i used is from i believe qvc my mom ordered it um i guess she really liked it or whatever so yeah this detangling brush, um, I don't remember the name of it right now, but it is my favorite detangling brush. It is my go-to detangling brush when I'm washing my hair or when my hair is in its natural state and I'm just combing my hair, like, for anything. I use this brush. So, I will let you guys know what the name of this brush is, too. This brush is so amazing. I love it it's my favorite detangler and it's super easy like it doesn't pull out much of your hair either like after i combed out my hair in this part barely any hair came out okay barely any hair and always when you're detangling your hair make sure you start from the ends and then work your way up um so yeah Okay, so of course I had to be extra and just show off my curls because they were looking healthy and beautiful. Um, like I said, a good cut and natural hair products does wonders. My curls have never looked so healthy in a long time. Like, look at this. My hair is kind of still long, but it's like really short. Like, you see the back. You will see some parts of the... In this video it looks like there's some ball spots um, in the back of my hair there's no ball spots in the back of my hair that's just all the shrinkage because in the back of my hair the way 
the hairstylist cut my hair she cut basically everything that was in the back i guess to like um make it line up with the front of my hair so as you can see here it looks like there's bald spots but that's because i have no hair in the back anymore <laughs> But I love my little bob. I This is what I wanted for years. I was always nervous to do it because I thought I would miss my long hair. Finally did it for my 25th birthday. New hair, new age, who this, you know? <laughs> but yeah, yo, look at my curls. Come on, curls, you better. Yes, and the conditioner also helps with detangling too. Like, I can bring my fingers through my hair without having to comb it of course i'm showing off my curls again so enjoy okay guys um don't mind those little spots on the bed it's from the oil it's currently like leaking all over the place i don't know how i closed it but yeah so um this oil right here you see those pic you're gonna see the pictures of how thick my hair looks while it's flying and um it's actually from me flat ironing it i'm not how i'm not sure how to get it as slick as how the hair salons do it i do it as best i can but this oil right here double growth and strength serum she needed to add a thickness because this oil right here made my hair super thick and i love it because when I used to flat iron my hair after washing and blow drying, it used to be so thin and flat. I didn't like it. It was kind of dull and it wasn't for me. But this right here, this oil right here. Listen, you see how it's almost done? This this is my baby. Like, this is my baby. My favorite. I, put, I used to put this in my hair every day. But when I got my silk press, I limited how much time i put it in because i didn't want my hair to be too flat but now that i'm about to actually do protective style in my hair very soon i will be adding this back into my hair every day the balm i also used the whipped shea moisture this is also balm i love it it smells amazing it definitely moisturizes my hair and it keeps it moisturized for a long time and most most importantly because this company is black owned it is basically for black hair you can use it's actually for any type of hair but black hair specifically so alicia you knew what you was doing sis and then my other favorite the edge control i promise you i've never found for as long as i've been doing my own hair I have never been able to find the edge control that lay down my edges without it getting curly. My hair is curly naturally. It's a curly afro, not the regular, you know, cute little curls that stay down. Mine dries up and goes into an afro puff, but it's a bunch of curls. This right here lays my edges flat and they don't move. My edges, they don't move. <laughs> But yeah, I love this edge control. My favorite edge control. Um, if you go on her website, these were the very first um, sets that she put out. So if you go on her website, they will look pretty different. Because she has new formulas and bet more improved. So get on it, you guys. Um, yeah. Crown. Respect the coil. Okay, guys, please forgive me. I forgot to record again. Um, I went to flat iron, and this is basically the end result. Um, I put a little bit of rose oil, homemade rose oil, um, in my hair because I didn't want it to be too flat. It's super thick, though. Um, but yeah, I used some rose oil, and that was about it. That's the end result. And this was the next day I flat ironed it again because it got puffy and curly. Alright, son, you better glisten on this skin.